everyone and welcome to this video. We are going to talk about Six Sigma. Six Sigma actually has its roots in the 19th century, but it takes relevance in the business world through the effort of an engineer in the 1980s. One Sigma is one standard deviation. The Six Sigma methodology brings operation to a Six Sigma level, which means three point difference of every one million opportunities. But what does it mean? Six Sigma is a method that provides organizations tools to improve the capability of the business process. This increases the performance and decrease process variation. Now we do emphasis in variation reductions. This helps in the effect reductions and improvement in profits, employees' morale, and quality of products and service. Tela El Salvador, a young fabric manufacturing company that spends too much time in the sampling process, that is the process to make sample to a customer before manufacturing all the order, apply Six Sigma to solve these problems and other problems. Six Sigma gives the tools and the techniques to determine what's making the manufacturing process slow down. How can eliminate the delays improve the process in the fixed future issues alone? Thanks to Six Sigma, you can produce a defect free products 99% of the time. To higher productivity, Six Sigma has two major methodologies, IMIC and DMAP. The last one is for new products of the company, and DMIC is for the existing products of the organization. Let's look at the first methodology, DMIC. It's an acronym from define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Let's have a look at each of these stages. Defining is about what issues you are facing, what opportunities for improvement are, and what the customer requires of you. Here you look at the process as a whole and determine the issues with the manufacturing process. In the case of Telas El Salvador, finding out what do the samples have in varying quality and how to optimize the current process to do a faster samples. In the measure phase, you determine how the process is performing currently. For Tela El Salvador, we determine the current samples that are made in an average of 21.5 days, with also out of control samples of 50 or 56 days. The current scenario shows that the capability, the capacity to meet with the specific question required, only 11% of the time is reached. Finally, we took all the variables that affect the sampling process and we do data of them. In the analyzing phase, you determine what causes the defects and variation on analyzing previous data you find out in the El Salvador. Eight variables were considered but only four has correlations with the time of the sampling process. The first one was the formulation process. That means that the know-how is not exact and it depends on the person who does. The second one, the time is affected by the difficulty of the sample. Third, the number of the sample is gonna show to the client is affect the time. And the last one, the reprocess of the sampling. Next, Improvement phase is when you make change in the manufacturing process. In the example, the actions were related to every variable of influence takes a priority with wins. The first action was classified samples, but it's difficulty. Then define a decision tree of what is gonna be for your sample. Is it too difficult? Bringing easier to the day lab work. Create a Monday in the way a bitacora of formulation of samples, change the instrument to a precise instrument, create a capacitation program to reinforce the knowledge of all our new lab workers. Finally, in the control phase, you make regular adjustments to control new processes and future performance based on what change made. The company reduced sampling process time to four days since it has the fabric to sample. Also, they define a, the KPI of average of four days to keep the annual savings of 218,000. So now we know how Six Sigma can help us to improve our operations. 
See you in the next video.